Okay, so here we have a portion of the Cayley graph for the Heisenberg group with respect to the standard generators A, B and C. And so in this particular Cayley graph, the edges with a green on them correspond to the generator A. Uh, so for instance here, A goes from here to here. The red edges correspond to C, so C goes up in this graph. And the black colored edges, like this one, okay, that's B going that way. And we can see if we just look at the AC plane that A and C commute, okay, we do AC, A inverse, C inverse, we're back at the same point. Similarly, if we look at any CB plane, for instance, here, if we do B, C, B inverse, C inverse, and we're back to the same point. Okay? However, A and B don't commute. A and B, the commutator picks up a, a C. So for instance, it's a bit hard to see this, but if I go, starting at this point here, I do A, I go B up to here, then I do A inverse, B inverse, and I'm C away from where I started. Right, so that's, that's uh, a, B, A inverse, B inverse, and that's the same as C. And you notice that uh, in this plane here, all of the B edges are horizontal, but in order to pick up a, a, a C term by doing the commutator of A and B, these Bs need to be at gradient 1, these need to be at gradient 2, and similarly on the other side, these Bs need to be at gradient negative 1, and these at negative two. Uh, and this pattern continues infinitely.